nagbabalik po tayo dito sa iConnect. Hindi na talaga mapipigilan ang pagdating ng mga turista dito sa ating bansa. Siyempre, malaking tulong dyan ang bago nating slogan na It's More Fun in the Philippines na nilaunch lamang last year. At para kwentohan tayo tangkol sa latest na lagay ng ating turismo, let's all welcome the Secretary of the Department of Tourism, Ramon Jimenez. Sir, welcome to the show. Thank you, Paolo. Wow, it's an honor to have you here. Good evening. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, you're a very busy, very busy man. So we really appreciate that you, uh, Thank you. took some time Thank to see you. us. Uh, ang una kong gustong uh, may tanong sa inyo po is, uh, dati po you were involved with advertising, correct? Yes, yes. That was uh, before I was in advertising for 35 years. I had wow. never been in government before. Wow, wow. Tell us about that. Um, give us a short background about your, your well, career in advertising and paano kayo naging... I, I, I started from the very bottom. I mean, you know, I was a, what they called a copy trainee. So I'm a writer by profession, mm -hmm. but uh, I came from a school of visual arts in the University of the Philippines. But I joined advertising uh, in the early 70s. And at that time, the uh, writers hold, held sway over everything. Hindi masyadong biswal ang mundo nun eh. Oo. Ang mga writer talaga ang umiiral nun. So kahit na visual ang orientation ko, I entered the industry as a writer. Wow. And I moved up the ranks. And eventually, you know, with uh, my wife, who, whom I met in advertising, we founded our own ad agency in 1988. Mm -hmm and from which we retired in 2008 wow after running it for 20 years that's amazing yeah. so wow so nag, nag work for you yung ano yung to put up a business together with your, with oh, your spouse yeah. Yeah, okay yeah. Kasi yeah, nila don't get into business with your with, with your, your wife with or your well, i always tell them alam nyo mag-iingat kayo kasi if you ask me that question you're saying more about your marriage than mine <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Like, that's yeah. good. That's good to know. Okay, one year ago, your department launched the campaign. It's more fun in the Philippines. How was it? And do you think how effective was it? Well, it's been very effective in the sense that it was meant to talk to two audiences at the same time. One, if you think about it, mas importante pa kesa sa una. Ang pinaka importanting audience ng it's more fun in the Philippines were the Filipinos themselves. Kasi kung hindi tayo naniniwala doon that it's more fun in the Philippines, bistado sa mukha natin eh. You're going to spot it, di ba? Mm -hmm. So we had to have a campaign that the Filipinos bought into ASAP. And the second, of course, is the rest of the world. Yes. Now, the rest of the world, as you may have noticed and read in the papers, is happening only now. So, for the most part last year, the energy was actually taking place with the people. No? Mm -hmm. The Philippines had three, th about 35.5 million domestic trips last year. Wow. Yeah. Okay. About 80% uh, of that were Filipinos who had fallen in love with their own country. Yeah. Yeah. That's really the major effect. And, of course, the rest of it is the rest of the world. No? Mm -hmm. uh, and the campaign sim answered a very simple question. Why should I go to your country? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the simple Filipino-type answer is because it's more fun where I come from. Yeah. Where did concept? What, how did you well, come up with this? We worked very closely with a brilliant team at BBDO, mm -hmm. Guerrero. Yeah. Okay? And David Guerrero himself, the chairman of the... the uh, BBDO, uh, BBDO yeah. agency, uh, you know, led the team that created the campaign. All we gave them was we said, make sure it's not just about the place. Make sure the campaign is about the people. Mm -hmm. And that's and, what they gave us. And now, yung mismong taong bayan yung tumulong pa sa pangampanya ng turismo sa Pilipinas. Kasi Correct. You gave them a chance to become creative. You know, uh, very few people will remember this uh, one year ago, no? We never really launched it on TV. Yeah. We launched it on the web. We gathered some people in a room, okay? 
obviously they were very savvy with the social networks, etc. It was a bit like, uh, I, I would say, it was a bit like body surfing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you're nuts, even before the crowd <laughs> gathers, you jump out and of course you hit some very hard concrete. <laughs> but if you're good at it, you yeah. have a big enough crowd in the front of the stage so that when you leap, you actually naturally float, float across yeah, the yeah. stadium. Do you think uh, social media is more powerful than traditional forms of media? Oh yes, because it's the way the world connects now. No mm -hmm. Arao, we had only one form of connection, and that was really a face-to-face -face meeting, or uh, in the best of times, a letter or a phone call. Okay. Now we connect at so many different mm -hmm. levels, and the social media is uh, probably uh, the most dynamic form of connection because people really get out there and say what they have to say almost every minute of the day. How was the success of the social media campaign, It's More Fun in the Philippines, measured? Well, we have several measures, but one measure, of course, is the level of engagement we get, especially from foreign markets. Okay? Mm -hmm. What you will find, for example, is this is an interesting bit. The level of engagement is actually higher for the people of China, for the Philippines, its campaign about the Philippines, about surfing, beaches, etc., than for Filipinos themselves. Wow. We actually have a lot of fans out there. Wow. <laughs> and I hope, I hope to God they're, they're on their way. Yeah. Okay? But this is China. This China. is mainland. Okay. Very close to the Filipinos themselves, who are the second, who love surfing about the Philippines, there are the Australians and the Americans. Mm -hmm. okay? So there is a tremendous amount of interest. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. We have actually gone into the social media, not just with the country brand. We've gone into the social media, I think, with a lifestyle that people have been looking for all their lives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You live it every day, of course. Mm -hmm. You're in touch with all your friends, and you go out for a swim. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 7,107 islands. islands. Yeah. So they said, you know, a Filipino is never more than 25 miles from a coastline. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. it's. Uh, we're an it island is, nation. You it's know. the kind of and and of course we're only two feet away from the next friend. Mm -hmm. It is a lifestyle a lot of people around the world apparently have been dreaming about. Ano po masasabi niyo na ngayong 2013 laging napapasama ang Pilipinas sa mga top tourist destinations in the world. For example, sa Travel and Leisure magazine, Boracay is the number one. A tourist island in the world. CNNGo.com says we are number eight. Shargao Island or Cloud Nine, the wave in Shargao is number eight in the world. And then, yes. and then recently, the New York Times also put I think Palawan and Shargao also. Yes. Can you imagine top fifty places to visit? And I think we're we're up there. You know, uh, I I read I can't remember exactly what, but how does ano masasabi mo about this? What is this? Well, you know. I I think it really proves uh, two things. First and foremost, you know, when you're happy, it shows. And uh, you've, you've, because the Filipino is a gift for whistling while he works, when he goes on the net with mm. that, when he connects with people that way, it really reverberates through more than just one website, more than one Facebook page, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. For example, there's this Facebook group called uh, uh, Come Visit My Philippines. With Bessie Badilla, yeah. Yes. Okay. Over 45,000 members yeah. now. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, fantastic Philippines, mm -hmm. you know, thousands of pictures. It's just incredible. Now, that kind of energy is energy that's transferred from one person to another. It reverberates, and, like you said. And yeah. then, of course, there is the fact that and this is, this is not to take away from na ang Pilipino talaga, ang galing natin talaga, or really fun to be around eh. mm -hmm. This doesn't take anything away from that. But the fact of the matter is, physically, and you know this more than most people, the Philippines is a drop-dead gorgeous country. Oh, yeah. eh? oh, In yeah. other words, when some of these reporters from uh, Travel and Leisure and Condé Nast and all these guys finally bothered to come over here because they got infected by the energy, yeah. they 
it blew their minds. Yeah. I mean, you know, we've got volcanoes. It's just an incredibly beautiful country. It is very beautiful. Ano po, ano pa po sa tingin nyo ang dapat gawin ng gobyerno at ang, ng bawat isa sa atin para mas marami pang turista ang uh, maingganyo sa Pilipinas? Okay. Uh, ngayon, napatunayan na natin na hindi naman problema ang magyaya. Madali talagang ano eh. Konting, uh, konting sipo lang, konting uh, yabang lang, papansinin tayo ng mundo. And they will agree na napakaganda ng Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Ang tanong dyan ay, handa ba tayo? Are we ready to meet the demand? Are we ready to absorb the demand? I keep telling people, wag ho kayong may inib. Siyempre, ang turismo, uh, wala naman nagtatayo ng hotel kung walang demand eh. Okay? It costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And it takes about two years, two and a half years to build a hotel, airport, etc. So, ang mangyayari po dyan, pansamantala, for the next year and a half, magsisikip yung ating mga airport. In fact, mm -hmm. nakikita niyo na namin. Na eh. I came from Boracay yesterday and the plane was full. And yes, the plane was a little bit late. But you see, I was in a plane load of people who were tanned from head to foot. They were all smiling. They were a little late, but they were happy. Mm -hmm. What we have to do for the next year and a half is to make sure that everybody's got a smile on his face, yeah. has a good time, in spite of the fact that we're still building the infrastructure mm -hmm. that it will take to launch even bigger campaigns mm -hmm. a year and a half to two years from now. So that everyone's job now is make sure they're okay. Mm -hmm. Doon naman tayo magaling, eh, di ba, mga Pilipino? Hospitable na, na yun. Oh, oh. Are you okay? Are you all right? Did you eat na? Etc. You want to eat some more? Yeah, that's uh, one oh, thing we so, have na pag kumakain. Right. Kain, kain. In fact, to the point of irritation, parang <laughs> sinasabi ng mga foreigner, can you leave me alone for a while? But, but, they go home and they say, we are far and away the friendliest, most incredible hosts in the world. See, Rachel Weisz nga at the uh, recent Golden Globe Awards, that's the first thing that came out of her mouth yeah. when she was asked, oh, how was the Philippines? It was the people she talked about. And so we're, we're, on the, we're in the spotlight mm -hmm. and we have to do our share. One last, uh, we'd like to hear, obviously, your words, maybe a message to all our viewers. Uh, and you can invite them to like and follow you on your website or social media accounts. Yes, well... Keep connecting, that's my message, keep connecting with each other mm -hmm. because it is your energy that is felt around the world. While you're at it, my, my, my uh, special favor that I ask of everyone is, if you have friends from abroad, non-Filipinos, stay connected to them as well because they owe you a visit yeah. and you owe them a warm welcome. Okay, that's, that's nice. Uh, that's a beautiful message. Oh, ito, pakidugtungan po. It's more fun in the Philippines because... Because uh, millions of Filipinos are going to have new jobs in the next three yeah. years because of the wave that's coming. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Thank you so Thank much. You. That's very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, salamat, salamat. Secretary Monjay Ramon Jimenez. <laughs> Thank you. Ready?